Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Blind. Holy moly, this has been one heck of a week. Oh, gosh. Last... Lately, boy, I've been having some audio troubles, and I finally figured it out. I had to unplug the shit, the cord from my capture card, and put it in a different USB in my computer. That's all it was. Because I had great audio before, and then I had shit audio for no reason. For no reason! Anyways, we are going to get, uh... Oh, I keep wanting to call her Genli. Genli's green. We're going to talk to Kiel, and we are going to... Sell some shit to her. Last time we were here... We did a couple, um... We're going to do these guys... Oh, we have 39 of these. Oh. 10 rupees? They used to be 30. Jesus. Pardon me. Anyways, even luminous stone is more than amber. What the heck? Okay, well, we'll see. Yes, you pay a lot for my ores. A thousand rupees for the fucking pants! Jesus. Now how much do I need? 500? Fuck. Okay, let me sell you more rocks. So the last time we were playing this game, we got the second memory. Okay. Um, uh, we'll do 13. Yeah, we'll do 13 for now and then we'll sell some other things. We'll sell these. Yeah, that sounds good. We fought a fucking dragon. Well, we ran away from a dragon. We ran away from a dragon. Ugh, I think I'm gonna have a hard time saying goodbye to this outfit. I think this one looks cooler than the quill, snow quill tunic. So I think I'm gonna be- Hey, don't be doing that. Boy, I swear. You put that away. Not in the house. Boy. Okay, so. So, this time, we're going to see what's going on around Rito Village. We have Tiba to go say hi to. It is very much more rainy than it was last time we were here, or snowy, um, than the last time we were here. Let's see if we can cook up some stuff. First of all, I want something hearty. Uh, do I have anything for defense? Oh, I have some mighty. That sounds great. We're gonna do that up. Attack up. I like that. Should probably get an Endura carrot in here in my belly. Um, what else? I want some meat. So I don't know if you've noticed. But the Rito Village, the Rito Village uh, thingamabob has changed the soundtrack. I think it is a lot prettier. I'm gonna take a picture of this soup ladle. Oh, I already took a picture of a soup ladle. Well, fuck me then. Yeah, we can listen to Madam singing over there. So we'll find uh somewhere around here, right? Now, I I haven't even played since the last time we, uh, we were here. Oh, yeah, this was where the shrine was, right? How do those disappear, by the way? No one's worried about that. Oh, it's also so much prettier with all the snow. Oh. Ah, it'll freeze some solid. What do you want, Molly? Um, how about this one? Huh? You need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze monster solid, which gave me an amazing idea for an invention. My problem is I can't go out and pick fruit right now with the blizzard and all. It's not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long. But without ice fruit, I can't make it. 
Molly the Fletcher's quest. Well, huh? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Yeah, I'll give it to you. White chew jelly for one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Not exactly what I had in mind, but I can, bet I can use that to make my pick invention. Uh, take this white chew jelly. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, it'll have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Wow, listen to me. With every breath, they spew out brilliance. Ha! <laughs> But I should probably talk him before I give away all my best ideas. Here, as a thank you present. Oh, ten arrows. Oh. Not bad, nice and easy. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. Creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard and get my name out there. And one day, I'll be a world famous arrow maker. One my papa could be proud of. Sleepy time now. Okay. Hey, that was a nice and easy side. Ooh! Hey! That's not fair at all! You know I can handle it! Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. I don't think Tiba's gonna stand for that. You're his if kid. If we don't do anything, the village... Huh? Am I interrupting something? Huh? Is that you? Hey, kiddo! Oh, Tulin's so cute. Look at him. It is you. Link. Ah, come here, you little rascal. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so precious. Look at him go. Oh. Okay, T, but you're not my favorite anymore. Tulin's my favorite. Link, they told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. How the fuck do you have the Great Eagle Bow? <sighs> Who entrusted that to you, sir? It was not me. It's very, ni it's very nice to see you again. Hmm. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. <sighs> well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. <laughs> as long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be my little chick. <sighs> what, you think I can't? I'm already full-fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You can keep wasting your time treating the song of Stormwind Arc like it's real, but not me. Okay. Listen, you. Ah, uh, let him be a teenager. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard, and he's having trouble hearing no. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long ago, when we we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. A few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then, you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. Cloud. Even the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme. I suspect that there's something lurking high in the sky. The air is so turbulent that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. That's why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth, but Tulin, he thinks uh, we cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But these are Rito matters. You come for some purpose, yes? Hell yeah, I do. Find out what the fuck's going on with you. <clears throat> What? It's terrible news, so then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. It never is. It's usually the one that's n unsafe. Actually. Princess Zelda's disappearance of the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow. Hmm. We retoordinate would ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping and the food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Oh, you're there? That's what happened when I was gone. Where the fuck's the old owl? Did he die? Huh. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has many sources of information. He might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. 
You see the two bonfires out that way? Hmm. He's in the lodge near there if you'd like to try visiting him. Yeah, I would. Before I do that, I'm going to... Tulin! Ah, look at him. Whoops. Sorry, adjusting myself in my chair. Yeah, where where is this old fool? Did he fucking die? Tell me he retired peacefully. Please tell me this thing. I'll take it step by step. I don't have Ravali scale. Ravali's whale of a gale. I do not have. I wonder if I get any kind of nope. abilities in this game. Oh, probably. Probably. What? Full fucking shot, I do. Huh. All right. Do I have an ice weapon? Do I want an ice weapon? Because I have a feeling a lot of these guys are going to be fire. I want these. Come on, you bitch. Come on. Boop. You're dead. Sapphire sword? What do you mean, sapphire sword? It's a drop, and I'm taking that. Oh. Okay, so that means it's a magic sword. You fucking got it, boy! Okay, two bonfires right here. Find a lodge now. This guy's gonna freeze to death. Why? Ah! Damn, not at all! President Hudson, are you okay? Oh no, what have I done? <sighs> Alright, I'm sorry President Hudson, I won't let you fall over again. It's unforgivable, it's all your fault startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson. So I blame the- put the blame on you. Unforgivable! You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson? No, I haven't. He's the president of the construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. She placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that... Uh, hey! I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism! Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I've spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission. Put up all these signs over the place to get let everyone know what a Hudson, that Hudson construction is a big deal. Those aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. Uh, they portray Mr. Hudson himself as... In detail, noble, glorious detail. Not forgivable that you would get one of these to fall over. And so, <laughs> I've pledged support for him. No need to worry, I might suffer in this cold. I mean, a special rice ball made, helps me withstand it. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. Got more signs to spread around. Don't know what to do. Try letting go. Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Ah, oh, unforgivable! And we're back to the start, huh? <laughs> Uh, okay. You have fun with that, sir. I think you're a little ridiculous. Hey, Hebrew Tail Trailhead Lodge. What do you mean, what is this stuff? We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebrew Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. Probably heard if you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them for some reason, they're yours. Well, I'll take them. I'll take your supplies. I love taking the supplies from starving people. I love it! There's hearth. Let's 
examine this. Let's read your book in front of you. Um, let's read the legend. <sighs> One day the winds ought to blow and Rito village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant and the earth fell to ruin. The villagers looked skyward for a solution until a f they saw a figure pierce through the unmoving gray clouds and s descended swiftly towards them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the village called this figure a god. The gods stood atop a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet who could say how far it might be, the place this god came from? The Rito took flight in turn, each hoping to reach the place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Seeing this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible with the Rito gathering materials. Their spirits high, the villagers set about doing so. The god nod nodded upon seeing the tall pile of materials. This, they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into this pile, and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded, and the small vessels began floating up into the air. With the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers rejoiced songfully, and then, with reluctance, returned to earth. One day, winds of the village's village warred back to life, and shocked the villagers looked to the sky. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. Air blew across Habra once again. The skies cleared, and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. This ark saved the village from the catastrophe to be known as the Stormwind Ark. So ends the story of the Stormwind Ark that saved the village long ago, and we um, already know about the song Hearth. Ooh. I really don't like your haircut. I think they designed you horribly. I worried after I heard you had gone missing. What happened? Uh. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you, I haven't heard anything about her. Uh. Our feathers are full, dealing with a more immediate problem. Anyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of the terrible mm. blizzard. And all that has been hampered by the sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud, I wish I could do more for you. Oh. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. <laughs> oh, right, you weren't around for it, but... Little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts it, the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Whoa. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Even stern Tiba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. Mm. The kid does print about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Jusain and uh, Laisa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave, that's to the northeast from here. The cave is path past the cliff out front, up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire mark in the spot. Well, I guess that's uh. where we're going. Find the bonfire at the south, at the mouth of the cave, and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Sounds good. Well, I'm going to teleport above here then, just so I can cut out a little bit of the climbing. Might as well. Look for the bonfire, huh? That I will do. I'll do that right now. I want to see those chubby cheeks forever. He's not allowed to leave, okay? Oh, this is the fucking hell, yeah, bitch. Come on now. And I guess we'll go the long way from the from the tower here. South Summit Cave. Let's go around the back of this. We should be able to see the fire from here. No. Oh, fuck. Well, that wasn't smart. You know, go higher to look lower. Man, do I need more stamina still. Jesus. Crikey. Let's 
now. Do, 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 do. Is there... Why are all the pokies here? Oh, because we want to be following the trail, right? Yeah, give me this. Ice, ice, jelly. Ba 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 ba. Ice, ice, jelly. Do I see any cave? I do not know. Let's go up here. See if we can see cave. Do I need to be up for this? That's what I want to know. Perhaps I'm at the end of my audio issues. Oh, yes. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fucking issues with my Elgato capture card lately. What? I wasn't just trying to get that one, I was trying to... It's a very satisfying noise. Okay, uh, lift this up. This is a Korok seed. I'll take this. I haven't been focusing on these Koroks. Unlike in my other playthrough right now. Um. Which side are we following up? Following it up this side? You know what? I'm gonna take a look on this. This half of the mountain. Because I do not think I was in the right place. Torlin! Where you at, boy? You know what? We could suffer to go through a a shrine while we're here. <laughs> while we're here. All right, let's go. Aid from above. Okay. Ah. Oh, fuck. That's, uh... Alright. Cool, good to know. So I think I'm gonna need... Urukai hand. Oh, the whole fucking thing? Hmm. All right. <laughs> what am I getting? What am I missing? Why are these hard? Okay. So I'm just dumb. Got it. Whoa, penis. Fuck you. Alright, so I'm just 
Oh, God. Okay, um. Eat something, please. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Very good. Now we know this one. Uh, this is just simple ascend. There we go. Good. What do you mean? Why? What? Aid from above. But what the fuck is above? Does recall work? I knew I could move it, but why didn't it feel like I could move it the first time? Oh, I'm so fucking dumb. The anthology of me being stupid. Buckle in! Spicy elixir. Hell yeah. Gimme. There we go. Good, I'm actually going to take this. Because why wouldn't I? Got it. Oh. Very nice. Good. I'll just keep going like this as it as you were. Just gonna Oh. Oh. Ooh, I know how to do this. Yeah! There we go. Nice. I did it. <gasps> that was an accident. That was an accident! I was so smart, too. Alright, let me get through this shit, I guess. Man, you will never fucking believe. Shit, dude. There we go. There we go. Oh, I hope I got all the fucking things in that, or I'm gonna have to come back later. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. I always appreciate ya. Alright, where the fuck is Tulin? Come on, kid. I'm gonna climb up this peak, this uh, little peak first. Corvish Peak. Enemy bonfire, I do not want. They are gunning for me, brother. Oh, there it is. Ha ha. 
See, I knew it. I knew it. Knew it. Well, let's go deep into the cave. Uh, your mom. Oh, I can't get that. Shit. Me thinks. I like fire. I don't have many arrows. Should try and get more of those. Chillfin drop. Hey. Speaking of. Actually, I want a, that's a dazzle fruit. Where's my zappy? I had zappy. Where's my zappy? a sappy fruit and then I didn't. So let me use this. Ow. It's okay. It's okay, I guess. Oh, fish. No, oh, but they're right. It is slum pickings in here. much. Okay. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I sneeze. What's going on here? Right. Okay, what, what did that do? Oof, gotta itch my ear. There we go. Oh, what's this? A couple bright caps, a couple of these. Ah, ouch. That finally bit the dust. There we go. Some amber, a couple more chill shrooms. Sticky lizards that went away. Back. Well, I'm gonna have to find my way back up there somehow. I'll take her nice and slow so we don't die. Oh, this is. Do I have anything else that can make this easier? No. Oh, just the enduring shit is a contingency. No, good! There we go. Wow. Okay, it is just nothing down there. I want... For you, I want a fucking bomb. 
Yay. Toasty bright cap. Hell yeah. I'll take that lizard. Thank you. Really? These were not the expensive ores she was talking about. Fish. I will take that fish. Ooh, pine cone. Hell yeah, glowing cape fish. You know I got that boy. Okay. Is this gonna make a difference? Am I going to Fly up in the air. I do not want that. Thank you. I want this. That does nothing for me. Well, I guess we climb up. Let's go. I want this too. All right, so I've climbed up that uh, thing, Bob. Oh, and I'm about to get a blood moon. You hear that, baby? Oh shit! I didn't know I could beat these with a hammer. Hell yeah! Gonna move so they don't see me when they come back to fucking life. All right, come on then. Does it make the bombs come back too? No, it doesn't. That's rude. It's not very nice. Uh, what did Tulin do? What are we gonna do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I'll be. What is the Highland doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Mm. You're here to talk to Tulin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area, but we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. Same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. Mm. I told the others we should return right away and report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. The little bastard went that way. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talanto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt, Tulin followed them there. Mm. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. No one's gonna bring up Rivali. And how much Tulin re is, like, turning out like Rivali. You fucking know how that turned out. I'm gonna tell him a story or two. Scare the shit out of that kid. Don't you worry, buddy. I will be scaring the piss out of that boy. We are gonna be having a word. Oh. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, I'm just gonna fuck with this guy. No. Too bad. Too bad. Okay, Talanto Peak it is. Uh oh. That's not what I wanted. It's not what I wanted at all. Oh, now we're starting to see the ruins. Yeah. 
Now what? Oh, there's a fucking boss sublim. You know what? I think we can handle it. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah, bitch! Fuck you! Oh, get fucked, boy! I got you, boy! See? I'm so good at what I do. <laughs> so, we want Tolanto Peak and all of this ice fruit, baby! So delicious! Man, these fucking zona are really nice. They're gonna shit like ice fruit and crap. I don't want ice to take down ice. I want fire. Fire! Yeah. Go. What is? Oh, that's a castle. That's okay. Come on, holy shit. What are we? Oh, a uh, fucking guy. Oh, I want that spear though. Where is it? Where is it? Fucking lost. That looked like a nice spear. Like a nice spear. Ha ha ha. All right. Talanto Peak. Tulin, I've busted my ass to find you, Fortiba. Get your ass back here. Your feathery little ass. I'm gonna beat you. Ah, here you are, you little brat. What do you want? Should have kept your guard up. What did you do? Oh, you lost your bow. Didn't you? Link, where did you come from? Oh, uh, you see. That rotten monster took my good bow. I have a spare. See, that's the bow napper. Uh. Gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. Oh. Really? Thanks. Did you know I could blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you too, that way you can glide over to where that monster went. Huh. Just tell me where you want me to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Aw, oh, cool! You can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. He could be, this could be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Wow! Come on. Oh, it's enough to get us over here. Oh, so he's hanging out with me. So where's this guy going? Ah, poo. Throw a bomb at the fucker? Yeah. Oh no. I don't have any fucking arrows.
How do I get arrows? Well, I know how to get arrows, but... Are there any over... Where the, uh... Where I just was? Uh oh. I'm gonna need to get up here somehow. Oh, hey! Arrows, please! Fuck. Might as well. The same fucking. Alright, kid, let's go. Let's see if we can open any of these and get some arrows. Oh, fuck yeah. There we go. Oh, there we go! Okay, I'll take these two. I'll take all of this, actually. Thank you. be a little closer up. This probably shouldn't be a process that takes this much time. Where the fuck is this thing? Aracuda. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Get on ya. There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bone might have been lost for good. Uh oh. There's more of them! Oh, this is very Wind Waker. Oh my god, this is so cool. Alright, they're not gonna make a fool out of me twice. Let's go get them together. I want a faster moving sword. Ow! Yeah, I will, if I can live that far. Oh! Fucking tooling for the win! There you go, buddy! Here's an upgrade for your fucking swallow bow, kid. We did it! Yeah, we did, kiddo. Hey, look, I think this might have been the hideout for those monsters. What the fuck? Oh. Was that the wind? It wasn't me. It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Boy. Huh? huh? Now, what the fuck are you hearing? Kid, do I- before your dad gets here, do I need to get- Do I need to talk to you about, you know, oh. fucking grass or something, man? Come on. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. <laughs> oh, you saw that hearth? Talk about embarrassing. Didn't lick some when Jasen tried to uh, stop me. Thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite boat of those stupid things. Thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Hmm. But now you see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. You were right, but it's really important to work as a flock. I think uh, I finally get what Dad has been trying to tell me all this time. Mm. Is that all there is to the story? Did he take anything from you? Why do you smell like that? Tulin? Seems unlike you to, to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Huh. Oh yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. Sparta getting attacked by that monster. Such a surprise that I dropped my guard and stole my bow. Uh, it stole my bow, but I guess that she was fine because then she zoomed up above that cloud. Uh -huh. Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How could that be? I don't know, but it stinks. Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of this sitting around here. Uh -huh. Julin, Link came out here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. <laughs> huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed! Uh -huh. 
I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. <sighs> I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way through the, is through the top, but... There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing this stormy sky and making it all the way up there. Well, except for one. Uh. Talking about you, Tulin. Only you have the skill to, and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all. Of all, once he understands the value of working with his allies. Oh. You know who said that to me? Your old pops, Taba. <laughs> Dad said that? Oh. Tell him he's fucking lame. Yeah, I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. But now it's time you go to like to find Princess Zelda and Ravage Kavi and blah 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 blah. blah. I thought I'd be working with Tiba. Tulin? Alright, kiddo. Uncle nephew fucking trip. We're going on an adventure. Let's go. There's no divine beast, so what the fuck is it? Mega Shrine? Ultra Shrine? Ah. Well, okay. We're going through the top. Okay, you want to... Then we probably want to go up to... Here then. Alright. Let's get out, kiddo. We'll get up there this time, but I don't think we're going to be doing anything. Your forward-facing gusts aren't really going to do much. Not like we're volley scale. So we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, watch me flail while I climb. Don't help or anything, or pick me up. I have the best, uh... I feel like I have the best, uh, adventures with young teenage fucking Rito. Like, Wind Waker with... Don't take that out of context. Fuck. Don't you dare. I mean with like medley and shit. Fun. Uncle nephew adventures. Did you just fucking appear out of the sky? Kid. Oh, let's go. Let's fucking go. Tulin has the power of- let's go! He's never allowed to leave my side now. That's it, I'm spending the rest of the fucking game like this. Do that. Fuck you. Goodbye. And I don't care for your horn, because I'm not going down. I'm not going down like that. No way. So I guess we're going to Heber Peak because we gotta fucking fly up here. Well, Tulin's flying up here. No, don't. Don't you send me to the bottom of that fucking mountain, boy. Boy. 
What are you looking at? Only possible to find out what's inside this blizzard. Oh. Why, if it isn't Julian, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. Huck. Okay, well, I'll roll with it, I guess. But if you come here, then that means... Yep, they said I could go up there. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone's admired your wing gust techniques since you first demonstrated it. Ah. Well, let's go then. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. Let's go! Wow! Hell yeah, dude. I need to be ultra hand. Ultra handy. Go over here. Come on, Tulin. Up. Power, let's go. Let's fucking go, bitch. Yeah. This is actually kind of cool. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the last, uh... Part. When you're taking on that last Colossus and you gotta climb up the fucking thing. In Shadow of the Colossus. That's what this reminds me of. Fuck, what's its name? It's not Gideon. Fuck, what's it called? Gaia? Gaius. It's called Gaius. I think it's either the third one or the last one. I don't fucking know. Well, it's all dark and shit and really cool. Alright. Uh, now what am I- ooh, okay. Wait, I'm already fucking here, bro! I've already been here! We totally could have just gone to the... and shot up through the thingamabob. Buddy, you're teleporting with me. <gasps> Please tell me Tulin can teleport with me. Uh -huh. No! Bitch! Fuck, you were supposed to... We were supposed to do it f that way, <gasps> fuck. Why not do it the easy way, though? <gasps> oh, well, okay. What is that thing? Look at that! Man, it's a boat! Huh? I'm tripping again. What kind of stuff did you bring, Uncle Link? Come. Come. To me. Okay. Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? Oh, big boat. We've been hearing about that big boat. Huh. Did you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge! Tons of little flying boats, too! You know what it reminds me of? Hmm. A lion ship soaring built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. This whole thing sounds just like the song of the Stormwind Ark. Oh. Was that children's song true after all? Shit, man! You heard that strange voice, too, right? Link, I'm sure you heard it say, come to me. Huh. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship. Uh -huh. Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on! Alright, up we will go. Well, how the fuck do we work the ship, then? Oh, 
Wait, what do you mean? Why? Don't you dare go under there, fucking... Am I supposed to go on the top? Why? Is it supposed to go down? Baby, I get down, 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 down. Whoa! Okay. That's fine by me. Oh, please tell me this is a wind. What? Oh, we're supposed to go up here. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot we're supposed to be doing. Gives me the heaves every time. Yo, that reminds me of Twilight Princess. That's what that reminds me of. There we go. Hey, look at that. Good. Hey, this was pretty fine after all. Maybe something like that. Don't give up. Ooh. Ooh. I don't like. you. You stupid poo-poo head. You don't deserve me. Is there a fucking... What is that? What is that? We want to be going up. What the heck is this? Oh, let's go down. I'm curious. What if I do a bow? A oh, bow, a fucking bomb. If I can I no I don't want to do that <gasps> I want a really big one <gasps> yo icicle I c can I send through this yeah I can baby nice and easy easy breezy lemon squeezy look at this shit Tooling, come with me. Yeah. 
Fuck you. You have weird jowls, sir. Sturdy, thick stick! Why, I never. Do you think the, uh... Lady wants a sturdy, thick stick? What is this? Can I... bomb? No? Do this. It's what I can do. Hell yeah. All right, I'm at top of this. Where next? You know what? This seems like the place. Leave it to me. This way. <laughs> Why do you want me to go so far this way? That's what I thought. Like, why? I think it wanted me to go this far this way. Where the fuck am I going? I want to get to this place. I'm gonna get to this place and then we'll end it. Tulin, where you at? Let's go. Power, let's go. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> Tulin. Where the fuck are we going? I think I'm just dumb. figure out I'm gonna try going back this way and making it up to where we were in the last one I'll try I'll make it up to that peak off screen um, but other than that thank you everyone for watching and we will take on whatever the fudge is in that temple on in the next one so with that, um, thanks again. Bye, guys.